now we need to look at how matching works in a, in a matching model with heterogeneous agent. So in our model, we have all the households have different uh, wells to start with, and they also have different uh, capacity to produce services. And so the question is, how is matching going to work? Um, and we'll see it's going to be actually very similar to what happens when we look at uh, a model without heterogeneity, where all the households are the same, and we can do the representative agent analysis. So there, there won't be uh, very much difference. Um, So here we are looking at uh, matching in the HAM model, heterogeneous agent matching model. Um, so because all households are the same, they are going to uh, possibly visit a different number, uh, number of stores. So the so number of visits will be, uh, you know, maybe different across households. So household high uh, is going to visit VI um, shops. And we also know, so we've said that uh, to introduce income inequality, we, we had a different capacity for each household. That is, each household uh, would be able to produce a different amount of services. capacity of KI uh, services. So how does uh, matching uh, how does matching work in a world like this? Well, it's uh, pretty simple. The matching function is going to use aggregate number of visits, aggregate number of services provided to determine the uh, total number of uh, services that are traded. The, uh, the matching function um, determines number of trades, that is the number of um, services sold and purchased. And so, how, so basically, um, why, as usual, why that's uh, output. But here, you know, output is also sales, I guess sales, number of services that are sold, which is also, of course, the number of services that are purchased. So Y um, is going to be equal to the matching function, is going to be given by the matching function, uh, taking that text as argument, uh, you know, total number, if you want total number of sellers and total number of buyers. So total number of sellers or total number of uh, services that are for sale is the sum of the KI and total number of buyers is the total number of visits. So this is, uh, so this is what uh, the matching process is going to look like. And M here is our matching function. You know, with the same, the matching function has the same uh, properties as before. So the only difference is that uh, the argument in the matching function are uh, the total, I mean, the total number of services, total number of visits, but this, you know, they may be different for each household. So here we need to aggregate um, the individual visits and services that are provided. And so here we had so the total number, just in terms of notation. So 
So the sum of the ki, which is just k, is uh, aggregate kind of services or capacity. And the sum of the vi, which will denote by v, the aggregate number of uh, visits. And so that gives us uh, output here. So that's uh, our matching function. And then uh, what's going to be, so this is in the aggregate. So now for an individual household, what's the probability to sell a service? What's the probability that a visit is successful? Well, we can um, compute that exactly like we did in the representative when we had uh, no heterogeneity. So we can do what's the selling probability here. So f or selling probability. So selling probability is a proba uh, to sell one service. And here we assume that although different households, you know, sub, you know, can produce a different amount of services, and they, uh, each individual service will have the same probability uh, of being sold across all households. So the probability to sell one uh, service, which we denote F as usual, is just going to be uh, the total number of services that are sold, Y divided by the total number of services that are for sale. So this is going to be Y over uh, KI. And then if we use, again, constant return to scale in matching, you can bring the sum of the K inside. You get one, and then you get the sum of the VI over the sum of the KI. Okay, and of course, now we can introduce our market tightness in this heterogeneous world. X is going to be the sum of the VI So that's the market tightness here. And then as a result, what we can see is that uh, exactly, exactly as in the model without heterogeneity, um, the probability to sell a service F will be just a function of tightness and it's going to be M one X. Um, so this hasn't, this hasn't changed at all. It remains true that the probability to sell just depend on tightness except that now the tightness, you know, is con con constructed by um, aggregating all the different heterogeneous visits and services, but f of x remains the same. And as a result, what we learn from that is that household, because we treat, we treat um, all services equally, all services are just exactly the same, so household high, uh, and because we keep, we continue to abstract from uncertainty at the household level, household I will sell f of x, the probability to sell one service times k i, the number of services that are put up for sale on the market. Um, so that's what's going to happen on the sell side. And then on the buying side, same analysis. You can just do. Uh, can do the same, so the bank probability Q, uh, it's going to be the total number of visits that are successful divided by the total number of visits. Uh, but this using again constant returns to scale, we can see that we'll get M, sum of the services for sale, sum of the visits, 
here we don't have one, and so that's just going to be m of one over x because here we recognize the inverse of tightness and one. So the probability to buy that a visit is successful is exactly the same as when we have homogeneous household. Uh, it's q of x is m of one over x over one, and then we'll assume again as we'll abstract from uncertainty at the household level, and so we know that household i and household i makes the i visits, so we know that the household i will buy qx times vy. Uh, so these are services. These are services. So here the two probability, buying same probability remains exactly the same. So the key novelty is that now we have the definition of market tightness when we have heterogeneity. Um, but then it remains true that then, you know, the number of services that are going to be uh, sold and bought can be obtained from these uh, trading probabilities here. 